Okay, I... Yeah? I'm just having a nice time, Pete. I'm glad, Jeanette. I always do with you. I'm glad. And the stars are just awesome. I didn't know you knew all of that. Oh, it's, it's just some stuff my dad taught me. It's, it's nothing. Pete. Yeah? I love you. Are you cold? Do you want to go inside? No, no, no. I just want to sit. Like this. Close. I feel so close to you tonight. It's nice to be close to you, Pete. It's safe. I like being close. Like this. I mean, I can think of other ways of being close to you, but that's not the kind of close I'm talking about right now. I like this. Right now. This kind of close. Right next to you. You know, Right now, I think I'm about as close to you as I can possibly be. Well, not really. What? Not really. I mean, if you think about it in a different way, you're not really close to me at all. You're really about as far away from me as you can possibly be. If you think about it, technically, the furthest away you can be from somebody is if you're sitting right next to them. See, if you're assuming the world is round, like, like a ball, like a snowball. And I'm here, and you're here. That's far. Yeah. <laughs> but now you're closer. Yeah. And closer? And closer? And closer? And closer? And closer? I was just about to go to bed. I saw you from my window. Can, can I help you? Is there something I can do for you? Oh, no, I'm just here to see the Northern Lights. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, it's just it's awful late in, your, in my yard. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know I was in anybody's yard. Well, you are, but... I thought it was just a random field. It used to be a potato field, but now it's my yard. Oh, well, you have a really big yard. Uh, I, I guess. Well, I hope you don't mind that I'm here. I'll only be here tonight. I'll see them tonight, the Northern Lights, and then I'll be gone. I, I hope you don't mind. Is that your tent? Yes. You've pitched a tent. So I have a place to in sleep. In my yard. After I've seen them, I, I didn't know I was in anybody's yard. Oh. I, I hope you don't mind. I, well, it, it's not that I mind. Do you mind? Uh, well, I, I don't know if I mind exactly. No, I think you mind. No, 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 it's not that I mind. No, you do. I didn't think you would. You see, I didn't think... Well, you see, it says in your brochure. <laughs> my, my brochure? Uh, that uh, people from Maine wouldn't mind. Uh, that people from Maine are different. That they live life the way life should be. And that in tradition of their brethren in rural northern climes, such as Scandinavia, they'll let people who are complete strangers, like cross-country skiers and bikers and hikers, uh, just camp out in their yard for free. Uh, they'll just let you. I'm a hiker, is that true? 
Well, I guess. And the pup will just let you stay in, your, in their yard for free? Because I need to camp out, because this is where I need to be. I've never traveled this far before. I'm from a part of the country that's a little closer to things, and I've never been this far north before or east. And did you know Maine is the only state in the country that's only attached to one other state? Uh, um, it is. <laughs> it feels like the end of the world, and here I am at the end of the world with nowhere to go, so I was counting on staying here, and this is not true. I mean, is it true? Well, I don't know. Would you let a hiker who was where she needed to be just stay in your yard for free? Well, I, I, I don't know. I mean, if a person really needed to. I, I don't know. Really, really needed to. Well, well somebody really needed to, sure. Oh, but... I'm so glad that, thank you. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Uh, it, it's okay. Uh, I just really need to be here and do this, so thank you. Uh, sure. So, you're just here to see the Northern Lights? Uh, oh, oh god, I need that. <laughs> oh, here. Thank you. Sure. So, you're just looking for a place to see the Northern Lights from? Yeah, just tonight. Well, you know, you might not see them tonight, because you never really know if you're going to see them. Oh, no, I'll see them, because this is the right time. Solar activity is at an 11-year peak, and I'm in a good place. Your latitude is good. Well, as good as it can be under the circumstances. See, I was going to go to a higher latitude, like somewhere in Canada, but I forgot to renew my passport, so I couldn't, and Alaska is just too far away. So this is the closest place I could get to in the lower 48 states that sees the Northern Lights regularly. So I flew, and I took a bus, and I had to get here, and anyway, everything's in order, and boy, I have a good, I have a good time to sing them. It's so big and dark, and fun, no reason why. It used to be a potato farm. <laughs> well, uh, makes for a big sky. Yes. So you're a farmer? Uh, no, used to be a farmer. I'm a repairman. Oh. Uh, you know, fix things. Oh. Uh, what? Uh, you're not a lobster man? No. Oh, well, I guess I thought everyone from Maine was a lobster man and talked in that funny uh, way like they do in Maine, and you don't talk that way. Uh, nope, you're not down east, you're up north, and this is how we talk up north pretty much. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no real accent up here. Oh. Uh, plus, the ocean's a couple hundred miles away, so it'd be an awfully long drive to work if I were a lobster man. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you. Uh, thank you for letting me stay. I really appreciate it. Uh, it's important I'm here and do this. Um, I've had a pretty rough go of things lately. And well, anyways, I just really appreciate your kindness and understanding. Oh gosh, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, are, are you okay? Yeah. I, I'm sorry I did that. You just, you, you seem sad. Um. And also, I think I love you. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I saw you from my window, and I, I love you. <laughs> okay, well, that's really nice of you to say, but I, I'm not here for that. I, I'm so sorry, that's not what I'm here for. Well, I, I didn't think you were. I, I'm here to pay respects to my husband. Oh, no. Yeah, my husband, Wes, I'm, I'm here to say goodbye because he died recently. Uh, oh, jeez. Yeah, on Tuesday, actually, and you see the Northern Lights. Uh, uh, did you know this? Uh, the Northern Lights are really the torches that the recently departed carry with them to help them find their way home to heaven. And you see, it takes a soul three days to find its way home to heaven, and, and this is Friday, this is the third day, so you see, I, I will see them because... Well, they're him. Um, he'll be carrying one of the torches. And you see, I didn't really leave things well with him, so I was just hoping I could come here and say goodbye. But once you just sit there a second ago, that's, that's going to get in the way of me saying goodbye, I, I think, or something. So maybe I should just go find him. Uh, no, no. Yeah. I'm, I'm real sorry I did that. I don't know what happened. Well, I do. I know what happened. Oh, well, I'm, I'm not like the kind of person that normally does things like that. P please don't go. I, I, I won't bother you. And, and, and maybe consider what I did a, a warm main welcome or something. You know, just do what you need to do. I won't bother you. All right? All right. All right. And, and if you need anything, just give me a holler. Okay. Hey, uh, thanks for letting me stay. I really appreciate it. Uh, sure. Um, I'm Glory. My name's Glory, just uh, so you know. Uh, okay. Hi, Glory. Hi. Uh, I'm East. Huh? Uh, short for Easton. It's the name of a town a little ways that way uh, where I was born. There was a mess up on the birth certificate. A uh, son named Easton, born in this town of Matthew, Maine, on January 6, 1985, sort of the other way around. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, happy birthday a few weeks late. Uh, thanks. So, Easton. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I passed near there on my way here, and, and by the way, where, where is here? I, I can't find it on my map. Um, almost. What? Uh, you're not an organized territory. Township 13, range 7, it's not going to be on your map, because it's not a real town, technically. Uh, what do you mean? Well, you see, to be a town, you got to get organized, and we never really got around to doing that, so we're just almost. Oh. Yeah, well, anyways, just holler if you need anything. Oh, God. What? My heart. Your, your heart? My heart. Are, are you okay? You have my heart. I, I what? Uh, in that bag, it's in that bag. 
back. Oh. Please get oh. back to me, please. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Did you just say that your uh, your your heart is in the in the back? That you're, like your your heart? Yes. It it's heavy. I guess. Why is it in that bag? It's how I carry it around. Why? It's broken. What happened? Uh, Wes broke it. Your husband? Yeah, he went away. Oh. With someone else. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, and when he did that, I felt like my heart would just break, and that's exactly what happened. It broke hard enough and cracked it too. It hurt so bad I had to go to the hospital, and when I got there, they told me they were going to have to take it out, and when they did that, they dropped it on the floor, and it broke into 19 pieces. Slate. <laughs> it turned to slate. Great for roofing. <laughs> so how, how do you breathe? Huh? If, oh. if, if, if your heart's in the bag, how, how are you alive? Artificial. Really? Yeah, well, there's a, a shortage of real hearts for transplants, so I figured I, I got an artificial one. Oh, um, so why do you still have that one? It's my heart. Well, why do you carry it around with you like this? Oh, oh well, I don't usually, but I figured since it's the one that loved us, I might want to have it with me when I say goodbye, I, I think, or something. I don't really know. But it's broken. Yeah, I really don't want to talk about it. Because of him? Yeah, I really don't want to get into it. Because he left you. Yeah, I, I really don't want to get into it. Why are you paying respects to him if he left you? Because that's what you do when a person dies. You pay them respects. But he left you. Yeah, but... And it seems to me that someone who leaves someone else doesn't deserve any respects. Well, I just didn't leave things well with him. What do you mean? Uh, and I'd like to apologize. But he left you. I know, but... Why should you apologize? Because. Because why? Because I killed him. Oh. <laughs> Oh, but that didn't, like, kill him. You didn't like, kill him. <laughs> well, I did kind of. Uh, you see, he was so sad that my new heart didn't want him back that he just tore out of there into the street, and, and a bus was coming, and it didn't see him, and he didn't see it, and it just took him right out. And if I'd been able to take it back, Glory. then he would have just taken it and been torn out like that. Hey. It has been taken out like that, and I just wanted to take it by in my own way. Now this is sad, I expect it's a big public service, just probably, you know, and... and Oh, I'm so sorry. Don't be. I'm sorry, I did that. Uh, don't be, I love you. What? No, that's not possible. <laughs> yeah? Well, don't. Why? Because I, I won't be able to love you back. I have a heart that can put my body on it. The one that did the other stuff is broken. Let me have this. No, it's mine. I can fix it. What? No. Glory. <laughs> Give back to me But now. it's broken. Please. It's no good like this. But it's my heart. Yes, and I believe I have it. And I can fix it. I'm a repairman and I repair things. It's what I do.
is so great. Thanks. So pretty. So, uh, here, have a seat. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, come on, I haven't seen you in well, months and months and months and months and months and months and months. I mean, how's it even happen? Living the same time, don't even see him. I don't know. The last time I saw you was the night I woke up that morning and you were just gone. Yeah, I am. Uh, Look at you two tucked away in the corner over here. Lucky I found you. Isn't it this lovely lady? Oh, we're not together. No, no, we are all, all set, thanks. All set. Okay. Okay. Well, holler for me if you think. Okay, thanks. No, really, you gotta holler. It's really busy up front. Okay. 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 <laughs> so, uh, do you hear anybody here? Yeah, um, the girls, oh. girl sniper in the front. Actually, I think these ladies are much really be getting back to them. A minute or two without you. I mean, what's it been here? What you been up to? What's going on? Well, you no, know, I took my dad's business. Yeah, I heard that. I'm running it now. I heard that. I'm running the whole show. Congratulations. The whole shebang. Good for you. I'm running Good for it. You. Yeah, yeah, no, you know, we still do heating and cooling. Yeah. We ex expanded, actually. We do rugs now, you know, I shampoo them. You know, it's a lot of work, a lot of work, a lot of work. I'm on call a lot. Weekends, all days, you name it, you know, because your heat goes and, you know, people die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas, you know, I let the guys work for me. Like East does a pair sometimes. We let them have the day off to do with their family since I'm all alone this year. Oh. Yeah, don't really have anybody anymore, really. Yeah, my brother and sister got canned. They left town. Right. Mom um, and dad retired. Headed south. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, Vermont. Winters are a lot easier than, I don't know if you heard, but then Spotman died on me. Oh, no, Jimmy, I didn't hear that. I'm so oh, sorry. It was, it was his time. You know, he was old. He was a good fish. <laughs> like, I, like I said, you know, I don't really have anybody anymore. But I was wondering if you maybe wanted to catch up. Yeah. Oh, Jimmy, I can't. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, don't forget Friday night special moose patty. Drink free if you're sad, so if you're sad, or if you two little lovebirds are we're not together, <laughs> you're just let me know, okay? Okay. Okay. So, what do you say? Come over for some fun? No, Jimmy, I can't. I should really be getting oh, back to no, the girls. No. Yeah, Jimmy, yeah. You see, um, oh gosh, I've been meaning to tell you this. Um, there's a guy. I've got a guy. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, you know, good for you. you know, getting yourself out there, moving on. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a little bit more than me getting myself out there and moving on. You see, this is um my bachelorette party. I'm getting married. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just said you weren't gonna, you know, do that, get married. I thought you said it wasn't for you. You told me because it just wasn't for me with you. So, uh, who's looking guy? Uh, Martin Lafurier, you know him, the forest ranger? Oh yeah, the ranger guy over in Ashland. Yeah. yeah. He's a legend, though. Yeah, legendary. Yeah. If you're lost up there, he's the guy you want looking for you. Yeah. You know, if you're lost up there in the big bad northern world, Martin Lafurier's the guy you want looking for you. Yeah. And he found you. Yeah. Look, I'm sorry I never told you. I, uh, kind of thought you would have heard. How would I have heard? Well, you know, people talk. Not about things they don't want you to hear, and if I'm being honest, it's not something I'd want to hear. So, uh, when's the big event? Tomorrow. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> uh, -huh. uh, hey! What are you doing? Uh, can our waitress just sit the holler? What's her name? I don't know. She's new here. Uh, hey! What are you doing? Oh, come on, we gotta celebrate. You got found, and you deserve it. He's quite a guy, and and, and so are you. You're quite the girl, I mean, a person. Oh, Jimmy. You're quite the person. Uh, hey! What are you doing? Whoa! Hey, what's that? Uh, nothing. Oh, hey! Right there. A tattoo. What? Hey! When did you get that? Uh, the night after you left. Well, what did hey, you say? Nothing. Let me... Hey, no, 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 no. Villian? Villian. Who's Villian? Supposed to say Villian. What? It says villain, but it's supposed to say villain. Well, it doesn't say villain, it says villain. I know, I spelled it wrong. What? I, they spelled it wrong. It <laughs> says villain, but it's supposed to say villain. Well, why would you want a tattoo that says villain? Why on earth would you want a tattoo that says villain? Because. why? Just because. Just because why? Just because when a guy's got a girl like you, losing a girl like you, driving a girl like you away. Jimmy, you didn't drive me away. It's criminal. It's criminal, and it's villain, and it should be punished. So I punish myself. I marked myself villain so that girls like you would stay away and I wouldn't have to go through what I went through with you again. 
Thank you. I have a 
list of things that can hurt you, and the iron boards aren't on that list. Well, that iron board hurt me. Yeah. So you should put it on your list. Yeah. Should I be afraid of ironing boards? Well, if someone comes up and wallops you with it, yes. Well, I have a list of things to be afraid of, too. And ironing boards aren't on that list, either. Well, you shouldn't be afraid. No? No, you shouldn't be afraid of ironing boards. No? No. But they can hurt me. Yes. So I should be afraid of them. No. So I shouldn't be afraid of them. Right. But they can hurt me. Well, if they're used the way that you used it, yeah. Oh, I get it. So they're kind of like the opposite of God. What? Well, an iron board can hurt me, but I shouldn't be afraid of it. But God, my brother Rob says, God won't hurt me, but I should fear him. Boy, this is getting very confusing. What is? This business of learning what hurts. What doesn't hurt, what to be afraid of, what not to be afraid of. Are you sure you're okay? You're, uh, you're going on about some crazy stuff. Oh, yeah. See, I have congenital analgesia. My brother Rob what? thinks congenital analgesia. Who thinks? My brother Rob. Some people call it congenital insensitivity to pain, but that all this means I can't feel pain. Uh, you can take me if you want to to see. Oh, no. No. Come on. Go ahead. No. It won't hurt. See? Ow. See? Ow. See? Ow. Come on. No. Come on. No. Okay. You, you don't have to. Most people don't. <laughs> Hit me. Most people just go away. You can go away too if you want to. That's what most people do when I tell them about myself. Uh, my brother Rob says I just shouldn't tell people about myself because I scare them. So I've actually recently put myself on my list of things to be afraid of, but... I'm not sure he knows I did that. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Are, are you okay? Are you hurt? You hit me. Most people just go away, but you hit me. I, I have to see if, if you can really feel pain, but are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I don't feel pain. <laughs> don't feel pain. Right. But are, are you sure? Well, uh, is there any blood? No. Any discoloration? No. Then I'm okay. <laughs> Trust me, buddy. There, there are things that hurt you that leave you bruised and bloody, and there are things that hurt you that don't leave you bruised and bloody, and they all hurt. I'm Marvelin. Hi, Marvelin. I'm Steve. Hi, Steve. I'm new here, so I don't know many people. What room are you in? Ah, uh, room three, the second floor. Oh, we're on the third floor, room seven. Yeah, you're right above us. We saw you and your husband move in. Oh, that's that's not my husband. That's my boyfriend, Eric. Oh. Yeah, our roof collapsed from all the snow in December, so we're just here until we can get our feet back on the ground. Oh, well, that's good, because that's what Ma Dudley says for boarding houses, a place where people can live until they get their feet back on the ground. My brother Rob says we've been trying to get our feet back on the ground our whole lives. Uh, yeah, it takes some people longer to do that than others. Yeah. You guys are loud. Mm -hmm. You and Eric, you yell bang right below you. Oh, uh, sorry about that. We're, uh, we're going through a rough patch. It, it happens. Sorry. What's it like? What's what like? To not feel pain. I don't know. I, I don't know what it's like to hurt, so I don't know. Were you born like this? Yeah, I have underdeveloped pain sensors. They're immature, my brother Rob says, and because they're immature, my development as a human being is very retarded, he says. But, but he teaches me what hurts them. Why? So I won't ruin myself. I have to learn what hurts so I know when to be afraid. My, see, my mind can't tell me when to be afraid because my body doesn't know what being hurt is. So I have to memorize what might hurt, and I have to memorize what to be afraid of. Things like bears and guns and knives and fire and fear. I should fear fear itself. And pretty girls. Pretty girls? Yeah. <laughs> Why should you be afraid of pretty girls? Well, because Rob says they can hurt you because they make you love them. 
and that's something I'm supposed to be afraid of too, of love, but Prof says I'm really lucky because I'll probably never have to deal with love because I have a lot of deficiencies and not very many capacities as a result of a congenital analgesia. What do you mean you're never going to have to deal with love? Because I'll never feel it, Prof says. Well, how does he know that? Because it hurts. Well, it shouldn't. And I have a lot of deficiencies and not very many capacities. Well, you know what? We, we all do. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. Are, are you okay? Are you hurt? Is there any blood? No. Any discoloration? No. Then I'm all right, I think. Yeah, you are. I'm, I'm so sorry. It's just, you're just very sweet. But you have a boyfriend. Yes, I, I do. Eric. And or his girlfriend, right? Yes, I am. And if your girlfriend and he's your boyfriend, then you guys must love each other, right? Yes, yes, we do. Very much. And you just kissed me. Yes, I did. And it's Friday night and you're doing your laundry? Yep, I am. And people who love each other, they don't kiss other people and do their laundry on Friday nights. I've heard that. People who love each other, they go to the moose patty on Friday nights, or they go dancing together, or they go skating. They don't kiss other people. You know what? I think you and your boyfriend don't actually love each other. You know what? I gotta go. I've been down here longer than I said I'd be, and he doesn't like that. Who? Eric. Who you love? Yes. Very much. Yes. Even though you just kissed me. Yes. Boy, I'm gonna have to talk to my brother Rob about this. No, 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 no. Don't talk to your brother Rob about this. And, and tell him to stop teaching you. Tell him to stop teaching you what? But he's teaching you it. It isn't something you want to know. But I have to learn from him. Look, I was uh, gonna be a nurse, so I would know. You need to go see a doctor and have your brother stop reading whatever he reads. Well, I have to learn from him. You know what? Right, you, you gotta go, you're leaving. That's what people do. No, it's just, I, I told you, Eric. Your boyfriend. Yes, Eric, he doesn't like me if I'm down here longer than I said I'd be. And I've been down here longer than I said I'd be. Ow! I'm, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I can't believe I just did that to you again. Ow! Are you okay? It's the right thing to do. 
I really don't understand what you're talking about. It's in the car. You said. I can get it for you, or you can go get it. Well, I don't want it. Well, I don't want it. What am I supposed to do with it if I don't want well, it? Well, I don't know. Well, under the circumstances, it doesn't seem right for me to keep it. So I'm going to give it back. Under what circumstances? Gail, what are you talking about? I really don't understand what you're talking about. What are you doing? I told you I'm giving you all the love that you gave me, and I'm giving it back to you. Well, I don't know if I want it. Whoa, need help? Nope, I got it. It's not heavy. And this is? All the love you gave me? Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah.
なんだろうはい What is this? It's a ring, Gail. What? It's a ring. Well, I, it's the old love I gave you. Where is it? It's right there. But this can't be all of it. That's it. There's no way that's, that's it. That's it right there. All the love you gave me. You gave me so much over the years. Eleven. Over the eleven years. Eleven, yeah. yeah. You gave me so much, I didn't know what to do with it all. I had to put some in the garage, some in the shed, and when you asked me if I ever thought we were going to get married, there was more of it than ever coming in. And I asked my dad what to do with it all, and he said, you got a ring yet? I said, no. And he said, get her one, it's time. When there's that much of this stuff coming in, that's about the only place you can put it. He said it all fit in the ring. He was right. That thing is a lot bigger than it looks. So, there it is. All the love you gave me, just not in the same form as when you gave it. Yeah. You still want it back? Yes, I do. Then take it. Can I keep all that? It's yours. Thank you. Little, you didn't have to get me a ring. That's not what I was asking. Yes, well, I did. It's way past time, and it's honorable. Well, it, it is very beautiful. Oh, Wendell, I'm so, so sorry. It's just, I was at Sandrine's bachelorette party, and... I know. And her and Martin are getting married already, and they have me thinking about us, and then she said how quiet that was erect. Bad shell, bad. I hear you, but well, you're not listening. No, you're not listening. It was real bad, historical bad. I'm trying to tell you, I had a pretty bad time myself. Nope, there's no way. It was pretty bad, Dina. Really? Yeah. Okay, go. He he said he didn't like the way I smelled. What? Todd told me he didn't like the way I smelled and never has. Todd Dunlevy told you he didn't like the way you smelled, and never has. Yeah. When? Well, when we were backing out of my driveway, we were in his truck, and he starts breathing hard. Hyper, hyper breathing? Ventilating? Ventilating. 
And anyway, he says he's sorry, but he can't go out with me because he doesn't like the way I smelled and never has. <coughs> never. What has he smoked you before? I don't know, around town or whatever. Well, geez. Yeah, anyway, he said he thought he was going to be able to overlook it the way I smelled. But that wasn't going to be possible after all. Something about allergic? Allergic? Yeah, and he goes, it wasn't me, it wasn't me. It was something about the women. What, the women? Yeah, and the lakes we go to. The lakes we go to? Yeah, to smell nice. And he says, whatever it is I use to smell nice just doesn't smell nice to him. Oh, like perfume. Yeah, and no offense, he gets out of his truck, slams the door, and left me sitting there in my driveway in his truck. Because he didn't like the way you smell. Yeah. Wait, you don't even use any kind of perfume, do you? No! No! Well, what the? I don't mind the way you smell. Matter of fact, I think you smell great. Thanks. Well, anyway, he said he was going to come back to pick up his truck tomorrow when I mind please rolling down the windows to air it out overnight. <laughs> There's, there's nothing to air out. I know! Todd has issues. Yeah. What are you doing? Doing something to his truck. Dean. We're doing something to his truck. Dean. You're too nice. Time to get me. We're doing something to his truck. Dean. We are. We're not doing nothing to his truck. Relax. Jerk. You should be so lucky getting to go out with you. Nah. Yeah. Well, anyway. Pretty bad, huh? Yeah, and a little sad, too. Okay, so I'm guessing I win. I pick bowling, supper at the snowmobile dog club, a couple of beers at the moose paddy hangout. I didn't say you're the winner. What? Did I say you're the winner? Well, well no, but you can be being told you smell bad. No, and all that's pretty bad, Shell, and sad, but you didn't win. You can be being told you smell bad. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay, go. Mine's face broke. <laughs> what? His face broke. His face broke. What? Face broke. Yeah. <laughs> How did his face break? When we were dancing. Dancing? Darren Lamans took you dancing? Yep. <laughs> Down to the rec center? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. That's fun. Yeah. I wouldn't have expected that from him. Ugh, what a good guy. You know, yeah. I wish someone would take me dancing. It must have been so much fun. Well, yeah, it was. Till his face broke. <laughs> what happened? Well, we did that thing where you pay and you get a lesson and they teach you together dancing. You know, like how to dance together. Oh, that's nice. That's fun. Yeah, and we learned that move where okay, you take the girl and you put her up and over. And, well, Darren was having a hard time figuring out his part, and it's so easy. And so I thought maybe if once through we switched and I did his part and he did mine. And, well, Darren's not a very big guy. He's a little, little man. <laughs> he is, isn't he? Never realized it before. He sounds taller on the phone. He does! Yeah, so anyway, and we switched, and I did his part, he did mine, and I'm pretty strong, and he's just small. He really is, isn't he? Yep, and I threw him up and over, and while well, he went over, over, and landed on his face. And it broke. Oh. <laughs> Ocular orbital bone fracture. Oh. How to take him to the emergency room. That's a drive. 38 miles. Yep. And he cried. Oh no. The whole way. Asked me to call his mom to come get him. Seriously? And she did. She asked me to please leave. Oh, Dean, I'm sorry. It's okay. He was a lousy dancer anyway. <laughs> Most of them are. <laughs> What? That's, that's just pretty bad. Yeah. And sad. Yep. So, I'm guessing I win? Oh, no question. That right there 
might make you the big winner of all time. Yep. Baddest date girl of all time. That's me. Can, congratulations. Thank you. So, what do you pick tomorrow? Bowling, supper at the snowmobile club, a couple beers at the moose patty, hang out. Sounds good. <laughs> what? Oh, Dean, I don't know. Just sometimes I don't know why I bother going out. I mean, you know, I know why. It's because you gotta go out. But I've been going out and nothing's coming of it. And I, I feel like I'm running out of chances, you know? Don't say that. Don't say that. Yeah, lately I've been wondering why you have to bother going out. I mean, I don't like it, Dina. I hate it. I hate going on these dates. I mean, why would I want to spend my Friday night hanging out with some guy I might maybe like when I can spend it with someone I know I like? Like you, you know? Yeah. I mean, that was rough tonight. In the middle of Todd telling me he didn't like the way I smelled, he doesn't smell all that great. Not many of them do. Yeah, and, uh, well, anyway, I got so sad. It wasn't you, though. It wasn't you. I know, I know. But after he said that, that I smell bad, all I could think about was how not much in this world makes me feel good or makes sense. And I got scared, because there's got to be something at this stage of the game, and there's got to be something that makes you feel really good or makes sense. Or, what's the point, right? Yeah. And then I kind of came out of feeling sad, and I actually felt okay, because I realized there is something at this stage of the game, and there is something that makes me feel really good and does make sense, and it's you. It's always been you. Huh? Nothing. <laughs> okay, well... I should get going, Shell. The cats get lonely lately. <laughs> well, I'm only going into the mail early tomorrow. Just got some maintenance issues to resolve. That'll be done before noon, so I can pick you up lunch time. Yeah, no, I don't think. They got the craft for going on a church. Maybe we could hit that before bowling. <laughs> you know what, Shell? I totally forgot. I got a big day tomorrow. Well, I gotta be with the crack of crack to open the salon. We're doing Sandrine and St. Pierre's wedding tomorrow. I gotta do the bride's hair, the bridesmaid's hair, the mom's hair, and all the nails and the makeup and. You well, know, I'll just come pick you up whenever you're done, like we planned. Mm, we're probably going to take all day. We may have to do touch-ups for the wedding pictures, and I don't know when we're going to be done, you know. Well, we could just get bowling and do stuff for the snowmobile club. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I might be really exhausted. Well, I'll be ready whenever you're done. Hey, Shell, maybe we ought to just give it a couple days and see when we both have time for plans, okay? Well, the craft fair is only this weekend. Hey, so. I'm, I'm gonna head shell, okay? Okay. Okay? Okay. 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 Bye. Bye. Hey, Dina? Whoa! Shell! What? Hey, you okay? Yeah. Here. Uh, thanks. Um. What, what just happened? You okay? I just fell. Well, yeah, I saw. No, no, it's more than I saw. I just fell in love with you. I think I just fell in love with you there, Dean. Uh, Shelly, hey, come. Would you get up? No, no, Dean, I'm just going to fall down again. Would you, Shelly, would you cut that out? I can't help it, Dean. It just kind of came over me. I've fallen in love with you. Shelly, I'm your best friend in the whole world, and I don't know what you're talking about or what are you saying, but what do you mean we're friends? Yeah! And that's, I love that. And yeah, I'm here about the only thing that feels good in this world and makes sense to me. And you keep me from feeling like I'm going to become that crazy cat lady someday. But now what you've done and what you've said, well, it makes me feel like for sure I'm going to become that crazy cat lady because me and my best friend and the whole wide world doesn't make sense and that doesn't feel good. And I think I'm really mad at you because once you say something like that, it's out there and you can't take it back. And what do you mean we're friends? Yeah! Best friends! Yeah! And there's a line where you're friends that you can't cross, and you crossed it!
It still feels like you're mad. I'm not mad. I but just you were. You are. You'd pay more attention lately. I'm not mad. I had fun. I thought. I had fun tonight. Did you? Yeah. Good. I mean, I was late because Shelly needed me at the mill. I, I need to work. I need the hours. I'm not mad at you, Phil. You had to work. I did. did. So, where's my shoe? What? Where's my shoe? I can't find it. I don't know. Where'd you put it when you took it off? Where is my shoe? Is this you being funny? No. Is this not funny? I never said it was. It's cold out here. Well, you're the one that wanted to go skating. Phil! We'll, we'll find it. It's gotta be here. I'm not mad. I was never mad. I was disappointed, but now I'm done. Mars. I had fun tonight. Skating? I said it'd be fun. It was. Forget all the stuff. Get us away from the kids. Get us back to where we used to be. We went skating the first time you kissed me. Remember? On a Friday night, just like this one. Right here. Echo Pond. I know where we are. Where the heck is your shoe? Maybe it's in the car. Where'd you put it when you took it off? I put it on with you. Right here. It's not in the car. Oh! 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 Shh! 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 What? Shh! 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 Where? Where? Shh! I'm rushing! I'm rushing! I missed it. Yeah. You did. What? Nothing. It's just really not all that surprising. What? So you didn't see it. What? The shooting star. Why? Because you don't pay attention, Phil. See, when you say things like that, it still feels like you're mad. I'm not mad. Gosh, where is my shoe? Maybe it is in the car. It's not in the car. I have one shoe on already. I know I didn't put my skates in the car because the shoe I have on was out there. I changed out there, didn't I? With you, Phil? Phil, I know my shoe's not in the car because... I have one shoe on already. Doesn't make any sense. What's wrong? Huh? Oh, I'm just making a wish of my own on, on a regular one. Oh? Wonder which one that with me? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be nice. Which one? See Hedgehog Mountain? That right one? Yeah, right above it. That one? Yeah. Right there? Yeah. Phil? Yeah? That's a planet. What? That's a planet. You're wishing on a planet. That's a... Yeah. Well, how do you and know? It's when you wish upon a star, you wish on a planet. Or I know, I know, but how do you know? So on the weather, Phil. It's going to be the brightest object in the sky this month. It'll be sitting right above Hedgehog Mountain all week. And your wish is never going to come true for wishing on a planet. Well, you got to pay attention. Why do you keep saying that? What? That I got to pay attention. Because you don't. What are you talking about? Phil. Happy anniversary. Huh? Happy anniversary. That's what I'm talking about. I, I, I knew you were mad. I'm not mad! But you are, and pretty soon out of nowhere, it's gonna get ugly. I'm not mad, I'm frustrated! I mean, Mars, I, I'm sorry, I know I missed a few things, but I gotta take a double when Shelly needs me at the mill. Me, she's helping me, us, out, you know, offering me the overtime. I know, I know. No, you don't know. Me working is for us and the kids, and it's a lot sometimes, and it messes me up. I'm not mad about you working, Phil. You gotta work, I understand that. What do I say is why I'm lonely, Phil? You just, you go away, and you go somewhere where you can't pay attention, and you forget your son's first varsity hockey game, and you hockey forget his birthday, and you forgot your anniversary. I mean, I brought you here hoping that you remember about us, but you didn't, and that makes me so mad about to do anymore. You lie. What? You lie so bad. What? You say you're not mad even when I ask over and over again. Because you wouldn't pay attention even if I- No! Because you don't know how to tell me what you feel like about me. So I never know where I am, where I stand. Maybe that's why I go away. So I can know where I am for a second. And you know what? It's lonely there too where I go. And you sent me there a long time before I did. And now all you do is lie. I don't lie. Yes, you do. You say you're not mad, but you're mad. You say you have fun, but you didn't. You didn't have fun tonight, did you? No. But you kept saying you did. I didn't. I didn't have fun. I don't have fun with you anymore, Phil. Did you? No. I had a rotten, lousy time. Well then. What are we doing? What are we waiting for?
I know this isn't going to be very easy, but I was just out there all alone in the world, and I got so scared because all I could think about was how I have a place in this world, but then I just, out of nowhere, realized that there is one place in this world I do have, and that was with you, so I flew, and I took a taxi to get to you. I just had to see you, thank God you're... Oh. Wait. I'm sorry. You're not who I thought you'd be. I'm sorry. You're not who I thought you'd be. I'm sorry. This is the house. I'm so sorry. I'm looking for Daniel Harding. Does Daniel Harding live here? You're looking for- Looking for Daniel Harding, yeah. He lives here. I thought. But, ooh, he doesn't, does he? I am so embarrassed. Who is this woman and what is she doing here? I just honestly thought he'd be here. I always thought he'd be here. Always. Do you know him? Big guy, big tall guy, played basketball, all Eastern Maine, center, strong. Do you know him? Played hockey too. Well, as oh, a matter of fact, I didn't answer that. I know that was a horrible question to ask a person who lives in a small town, as if everybody in small towns knows everybody else. I don't live here anymore, but when I did, I hated when people would ask me that. It was even worse than when they'd ask if we had plumbing all the way up there, because you know, people in small towns don't really know each other any better than people in big towns do. You know who you know when you don't know who you don't know. Just like anywhere else. I'm so sorry to have bothered you. I was just so sure I'd find him here. He kept the house I heard when his parents died. He lived here. He stayed here. He was one of the ones who stayed. I didn't stay. I went away. Most people do. Yeah. And I guess he did too. I never thought he would. I guess I lost track. You gotta hold on to people or you lose them. I wish there was something you could keep him in for when you need him. Oh, look, there he is. Perfect. Boy, it's cold out here. I forgot. Yeah. I just can't believe I took a taxi here from Bangor to see him. That's far. Yeah. That's 163 miles. Yeah, this place is a little further away from things than I remember. Why did you do that? Because I could only fly as close as Bangor, and I had to get to him as fast as I could. Why? Because I want to answer a question he asked me. Oh. The last time I saw him, he asked me a very important question, and I didn't answer it. That's just not a very nice thing to do to a person. Well, that's being a little hard on yourself, don't you think? He asked me to marry him. Oh. <laughs> and you... Didn't answer him. And that's why I'm here, to answer him. I mean, I didn't answer him at the time because I didn't have an answer in the first place. I mean, I was going off into college, and then the night before I'm about to go off into the world to do what I hope and dream, he asked me, will you marry me? I mean, come on. I was leaving in the morning. What was I supposed to do? I don't know. I mean, I told him I'd have to think about it, that I'd think it over overnight, and I'd be back before the sun came up with an answer. And then I left standing right there where you're standing, and I didn't make it back with an answer before the sun came up, or at all. That sounds like an answer to No, me. that wasn't my answer. I just went off into the world, and that's not an answer. And I think, I think he thought I'd say yes. Well, guy's probably not going to ask a girl that kind of question unless he thinks she's going to say I know, and I'm afraid he probably stayed up all night hoping for me to come by, and I just want to tell him that I know now that you can't just do a thing like not answer a question like the one he asked me. You can't do that to a person. Especially to someone you love. You loved him? Well, I don't know if I loved him. I don't know if I loved him. I mean, we were kids. Yes, I did. I do. I feel like I dashed his hopes and dreams. Oh, come on! He was young. That's all you need to have heard your hopes dashed. Just be young. And besides, everybody starts out young, so everybody has their hopes dashed. And besides, I don't think you really dashed his hopes, because well, if you dash on these hopes, that's kind of a nice way to let him down, because it hurts, but it's quick. If you had said no, that would have been dashing his hopes. But you didn't say no. You just said nothing. You didn't answer him at all. And that's
it's just Kelly Hope in the long, slow, painful way that's still just hanging there, never really goes away. That's kind of giving somebody a little less air to breathe every day until they die. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. For what? I don't know. <laughs> Goodbye, Hope. Goodbye. I'm so sorry to have bothered you. It's just, I was out there all alone in the world and I realized what I'd done. Wait. You called me Hope. How did you know my name? Danny? Hello, Hope. I didn't even recognize you. I know. I didn't even recognize you. I know. I didn't even recognize you. Oh, I know. You're so... I know. Small. Yeah, I, uh... Lost a lot of hope. That would do a number on you. Danny, I'm so sorry I never came back to answer you. Shh, because you know what? It's okay. You're early. What? You're early. You said you'd come back to an answer to my question before the sun came up, and geez, I'm crow. The sun's not even close to being up yet. It only went down a few hours ago. Look how early you are. That's good of you. So, a taxi. All the way from Bangor? Yeah. To tell me... Hunt? Dan? Honey? Hunt? Who's there? Hunt? Just... Somebody needs directions. It's a little late for directions, don't you think? Yeah. Listen, Suzette. I'll come right in. Okay. Hope I... What? I... Hope you find it. Hope... Your place in this world. Goodbye. Goodbye, Danny. Yes. What 
What do you mean? You can't tell what it is. It's a picture? Yeah. A painting? Yes. Where did you get this? It, it looks homemade. Well, what do you mean it looks homemade? It looks like someone really painted it. Well, someone really did paint it. Did you paint this? Yeah. For me? Yeah. Oh. Why? What? I mean, I mean, thank you. There you go. That's that's what people say. You're, yeah. you're welcome. You're welcome, Amanda. So, Dave didn't know you painted. Well, I'm taking a, a doll at art over at the... over at the... <laughs> Merle has them over at the high school's teaching it. it. It's real good. Anyway, this is my version of one of those stare at it until you see the thing things. Uh, some of the old painters used to do it with a bunch of little dots. They called it, um, uh, something. But anyway, I, I didn't do it with a bunch of little dots. I did it with a bunch of little blocks of color. And when you just look at it, it just looks like a bunch of little blocks of color. But when you look at the whole thing, it's not just a bunch of little blocks of color. It's a painted picture of something. What is it? Well, I'm not going to tell you. got to figure it out. Oh, come on, Dave. Uh, well, all right. So you, you got to not let it know you're looking at it. It can be a little frustrating. Well, why would you give me something? Gonna frustrate. Well, that, that's not what I mean. I mean, you just gotta kinda look at it. If it knows you're looking at it, you're not gonna see it. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta trick it. Gotta trick it. <laughs> gotta trick it, you know? There you go. There you go. You're tricking it. Gail. Gail. 
Jimmy, Sandrine, and East. East? <laughs> well, why would they say that? I, I love those guys. I'm good to those guys. And, and that's, that's mean. That's talking about me behind my back. What? Well, I, I don't think they were being mean, Rhonda. They just, they didn't tell you that I liked you because that, well, they, they were just telling me to go for it with you because they like you, me, us. They, they were rooting for us, Rhonda. Who's rooting for us? Everybody. Dina, Shelley, Lyndall, Gail, East. Well, they never told me that, that they were rooting for us. Well, that's because I told them not to. I, I, I wanted you to find out from me that I liked you, not, not them. Um, look, I'm sorry if I made you mad when, when I kissed you. We can't just do that to someone. I know, I know, I'm sorry, I just, I, I thought you liked me the way I like you. I do. You do? Yeah. Well, all right then. <laughs> well, then, well, so you, why don't, I'd like to kiss you if, if that's okay. It's not. Okay? Because I don't know how. What? I don't know how. Well, what do you mean? I've won an arm wrestling at every winter carnival, fifth grade on. And I work in plywood at Bushley's Lumber Mill, and that's not what most men want to want. Well, where'd you get that from? From everybody. Well, <sighs> I, th I think you got it wrong, Rhonda, because I gotta tell you, there's a lot of guys who think you're really pretty. No. I mean, I do. Look, so... Do you wanna... Just... Why don't we try... So do you wanna be together so you never have, or...? No. So you really never... Alright, well... Why don't... So you want to be with me? Yeah, I guess. Well, okay, then, all right, why, why don't we try, why don't you try giving me a kiss and we'll see where it goes. And uh, I'm not gonna make fun of you or nothing bad like that if that's what you're worried about it. No, no, let's do this. Is it raspberries? No. Cherries? No. A big, open-faced strawberry rhubarb pie? No. You okay? Oh, Dave, I see it. It's, it's, it's nice. Yeah? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, you, you are good at this. <laughs> and, and you're good at this. I thought it'd be hard, and it's not at all. And I want to do it for a really long time. But I feel like I want to do something else next. But I don't know what that is. Well, I do. Rhonda, you, you coming? 